Richmond and NC State. The Wolfpack without starting quarterback Brandon Mitchell. Of course, he suffered a broken left foot last week. So Dave Dorn going with two quarterbacks. Pete Thomas, the better thrower. Bryant Sheriff's the better running QB. And here goes Sheriff's around the left side, keeping it himself. 28 yards for the touchdown. That's what he's supposed to do. And NC State takes this 10-7 lead on Richmond. But the Spiders crawl back. Michael Strauss to Stephen Barnett, 14 yard score. Strauss, 300 yards passing in the game. And under two minutes to go in the half, the Spiders driving again. Jacoby Green from seven yards out. 21-10, the Wolfpack adds a field goal right before the break. 21-13 at the half. Third quarter, NC State drives right down the field. And at Sheriff's, at quarterback, slings it out to freshman Matt Days. And he weaves his way in. 21-19, Dave Dorn decides not to go for two in the tie. Instead, he kicks the PAT, 21-20. Remember, it was a potentially a tie if they convert the two. Still down one the final minutes. Now Pete Thomas, the better thrower and a quarterback. A great catch by Richard Smith, tiptoeing on the sideline. 124 to go. Next play for the Wolfpack. Thomas looking deep for Brian Underwood. At the goal line, oh, the laundry comes out. Pass interference called on Richmond. Watch again. Do you think there was PI on this? Either way, NC State will take it. And the Wolfpack getting field goal range. Nick Sadie from 48 yards. It's good. 23-21, NC State takes its first lead since the first quarter. But Richmond drives back down the field. The Spiders could try a 54-yard field goal with time running out. Instead, they decide the better shot is going for the Hail Mary. The pass, knocked down, incomplete. NC State pulls it out at home against the Richmond Spiders, 23-21. Pete Thomas, 237 yards passing, no touchdowns, two picks, but again, his first game starting for NC State. The Wolfpack nearly 200 yards on the ground and outgained Richmond overall, 444 to 322. A bye next week for the Wolfpack, Clemson at home on September 19th.